Luke said, what if you have three products? Do you promote the product or the company if both remain? OK, so it's it's really depends. You, I need to get more data. But generally, generally, you need to you have two options. You either promote the company or you promote the product and make the product equal to the company. Mm. And you may so if it is one product that I sell again and again and again and again, it's totally OK to set to promote the product as long as it's equal. So it's somehow synonymous with the company. So photocopy is a Xerox. Yeah. Yes. So yeah. Any yeah. photocopy is oh, Xerox. People say it's Xerox. Yes. You right. Understand? So, so this kind of thing. Um, there are many products that uh, the, the marketing was so good that the product name or the company name become the standard for the industry. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I see that. But okay, brilliant. Product, promote, promote, promote according to the size of the opposition. And Netflix had huge opposition. I mean, everyone is competing with them. Apple and uh, Disney and everyone competing with them. And they are promoting like they used to promote when they were six years old. <laughs> true. It's very true. You're right. They're they're very chilled, it seems, as, uh, yeah, they yeah. should be doing yeah. more. Now, is it more challenging when it's something that isn't a physical product? The reason I ask is Amazon. If I'm driving around in the States, you see everywhere Amazon Prime trucks just going by you. And that alone is like a moving billboard, right? So mm -hmm. Netflix doesn't have cars that are dropping off deliveries with boxes on it that has the, all the logos and Apple products that have the logo everywhere and all that. So obviously there's other ideas, but I'm saying is a physical product a bit easier, do you think, to promote or not? It's the same principle. Okay. Yeah. It's not important. People buy, people buy always the idea. Mm. Mm -hmm. So even yeah. if the product is physical, what people buy is the idea. So in any case, because before you actually get the product, or even when you get the product, if you're at the shop, you don't buy a shirt. You buy how she will look at you. Mm -hmm. yeah. You don't buy yeah. the shirt. You buy how, how, you are look, how they look at you. That's what you buy. Mm -hmm. And if the promoter understands that you don't buy the shirt, but you buy the emotional effect that the other person makes on you, what I will promote is the emotional effect, not the color of the shirt, because shirts during the different fashions over a lifetime of a person change. I mean, if you look at the fashion when I was 18 years old, I look at pictures that I have today, and I'm thinking, that was disgusting. I don't believe that I actually thought that it's nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it used to be amazing. So it means the shirt means nothing. It's the promotion. It's the idea of what the other person will think about me or what mm. I will feel, which pleasure I will get or which pain I will get rid of. Yes. Amazing. True, true, true. Powerful.